Welcome to the Harlingen CISD and the Gomez and Gomez Dual Language Enrichment Program. The HCISD Special Programs Multilanguage Department, the HCISD Public Relations Community Engagement Department, and the Dual Language Training Institute have teamed up to create a series of videos to support our teachers with the implementation of the key components of the Gomez and Gomez Dual Language Model. The first video in this series will guide you in creating a dual language classroom environment. Creating a print-rich environment is key in supporting the increased vocabulary and rigorous instruction in the Gomez and Gomez model. To begin, desks and tables should be set up in a way that invite, encourage, and allow students to work in bilingual pairs throughout the day. When deciding how to label student seats, it is important to remember that you may be changing bilingual pairs regularly. Using Velcro for names instead of tape will allow for quick changes without the need to move furniture. Another option is to put names on chairs instead of on tables or desks. This would only require the movement of student chairs and not the table or desk. When planning the layout of your dual language classroom, remember to set aside an area for your class to meet as a whole group. This area can be used for morning meetings, read alouds, the opening of your lesson plan cycle, and whole group discussions. Another important part in creating a dual language environment is classroom labeling. In the Gomez and Gomez model, classrooms are labeled in both English and Spanish. English labels are identified by the color blue and Spanish labels are identified by the color red. If you have store-bought labels that are printed in full color, red and blue dots can be used to distinguish between the two languages. It is recommended to have at least 15 to 20 classroom labels at a time that are large enough for students to see from their seats. Another recommendation is to include articles in the Spanish labels. For the lower levels, pictures may be added to labels for visual support. A language of the day sign must also be posted on the outside of the classroom door announcing the LOD for visitors, school staff, and students. Student-generated alphabets are alphabets created by students in both English and Spanish. Students will create the alphabet using grade appropriate vocabulary that represents the level of academic language used in the classroom. Students should be able to easily distinguish between the English alphabet and the Spanish alphabet. This can be accomplished by using red or blue frames, dots, or markers. The location of the alphabet must be visually accessible by all students by using either large print or placing the alphabet at eye level. A new alphabet should be created at least once a semester. Interactive word walls are another component of the Gomez and Gomez dual language model. Every dual language classroom will have English, and Spanish color-coded word walls that are initiated by both teachers and students. The words that are added to these word walls can be in either language and will come from the various activities done with students throughout the day, particularly when students share their experiences. You want to capture key vocabulary words that they share that are appropriate to their grade level and add them to the respective word wall. An average of two to three words are added per day keeping in mind that words should not be repeated in both languages. Word walls should be interactive and set up in a way that gives a student the opportunity to remove a word if needed. Once words are learned, creating a way to bank learned words will allow space for new words to be added. Vocabulary from word walls, student-generated alphabets, and labels should be reviewed in the language of the day. Content bulletin boards are another component of the dual language classroom environment. The purpose of content boards is to give students a preview of vocabulary prior to instruction and to serve as a review of content vocabulary after instruction. The vocabulary included on content boards should be kept separate from your English and Spanish word walls unless students are struggling with key terms. In addition to vocabulary, content boards should also display authentic student work. The title, vocabulary, and student work should be only in the language of instruction for the specific content area. In the Gomez and Gomez dual language model, students are paired up all day based on language and content ability to support each other's language and content learning. As part of your environment, a list of bilingual pairs should be posted in every classroom. 
Bilingual pairs can change throughout the day and in different content areas. It is recommended that the list of bilingual pairs is created in a way that is easily interchangeable. When planning the layout of your classroom, it is important to set aside space for displaying student-generated work in both languages. Displaying student work will serve as a positive reinforcement and as evidence of the thinking and learning that occurs in the classroom. The work displayed should be authentic, student work, and not a worksheet or ditto. Classroom libraries are another part of the dual language classroom environment. Classroom libraries should have plenty of reading books available, accessible, and equitable in both languages. It is important that your classroom library include books that are culturally relevant to your students. Books must be color-coded depending on language and should be made available in various reading levels. Bilingual Learning Centers, or BLCs, are another component of a Gomez and Gomez dual language classroom. Your dual language environment will have designated areas for BLCs where students will go to learn together in bilingual pairs, but independently. BLCs will develop language, reinforce content learning, promote child-directed learning, and instill responsibility. BLC areas will require space and possibly shelves to place numerous activities in both English and Spanish. You can choose one common area for all your BLCs or they can be set up throughout your classroom by content. Student Vocabulary Enrichment Activities, or SVEs, are a component of 3rd through 5th grade Gomez and Gomez dual language classroom environments. SVEs are designed to expose all learners to previously learned specialized vocabulary in the opposite language of instruction. Learners participate together 20 to 30 minutes once a week for each subject. Math SVEs are done in Spanish and Science and Social Studies SVEs are done in English. The vocabulary that is used is obtained from the objectives of the previous week. SVE activities should be interactive, fun, and focus on the word, definition, and picture. Bilingual Research Centers, or BRCs, are another component for 3rd through 5th grade Gomez and Gomez dual language classroom environments. The purpose of BRCs is to promote project and research-based learning to engage students in creative and critical thinking. BRCs are used for vocabulary enrichment and expose students to science and social studies in English and math in Spanish with use of materials in both languages. Bilingual research centers are created by consolidating all available instructional and resource materials such as books, magazines, pamphlets, websites, encyclopedias, dictionaries, etc. in one area but in two languages. BRCs are used during content area instruction to extend lessons in math, science, social studies, and language arts. A minimum of two research-based projects should be planned yearly in each content area. Final projects are completed in the language of instruction. We hope this video has provided a helpful guide for setting up your HCISD Gomez and Gomez dual language classroom. This is the beginning of the process of creating bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural students.